I've kind of uh, signed signed that place off. Laugh Factory? Yeah. Yeah, no. Bring it off. I mean, they're looking for a specific thing. I don't think I'm that. None of us fit. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, dude. I'll have more fun at Badger and Jam. The improv is... Your Tuesday at 5 o'clock is better spent as the improv. The improv mic is fun as fuck, dude. It's the greatest mic in town, I think. I talk about this all the time. I went on this fucking run for a month a while ago where I got up four weeks in a row... And it was it was the most fun I had Tuesday after Tuesday after Tuesday after Tuesday, and uh, I and after four times up just bucketing the hat like on chance I ran out of stuff to say I was like I don't have <laughs> I don't have any new material so like I had to stop going I had nothing else to go up at the improv with yeah. because you can't dude the worst thing to see at like a club open mic is is someone going up there like unprepared like they don't get what it is yeah you know. What blows me away is the people that go up week after week at the improv and do the same material Mm -hmm. when you're trying to impress one lady. Yeah. And it's like, you know she's heard it. it, Why is it going to blow her away this week instead of when it didn't last week? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I mean, after three years of getting up a lot and going very – because I never got the feature spot. And then the Tuesday after I find out I have to leave the country – I get two in a row. Yeah. Mm. How, how about that? Funny how that works. They never call you when you're ready. No, well, what, it, it, what it is I've noticed is both times, uh, Rita was not in the room. It was Cyrus. Oh, okay. So it's just, I've always known I'm not Rita's cup of tea. Yeah. Um, but this new guy, Cyrus, likes me, so. I saw you when you got your first call back. I was there. You yeah. went up first, right? Um, it was very close to first. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah. Got both the, times have been. Got the call back. Because, like, she showed up later in both ones of them. Yeah, she did. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, it's just fun having that many people in a room. Yeah. That always makes it so much easier. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it feels like no other because it's packed out. It's the improv packed out. And it's comics, so if you if you if they're laughing, it's like, oh, this is really good. Yeah, I'm it, also noticing like, especially if you're doing like dark stuff or like offensive stuff, like I do, yeah. it's so much easier in a big room, because in a smaller room, one or two people being like, nope, mm. it that, kills the whole audience. That sets the yeah. tone for the whole audience. Yeah, but there's just they don't have enough pull in like that many people, that you know you can get away with. Yeah, because both the times I did it was all dark and like offensive jokes yeah mm-hmm. yeah and you can slow down more with more people i've noticed yeah it's, yeah it's, well it's, you get applause breaks mm-hmm. it's yeah. it's nice having a larger audience because like it, it spreads the i don't know a better word for it but it spreads the risk over a, a larger amount of people you know yeah. if you're going to like gamble on like a big really dark bit yeah it spreads the risk out a little bit but the timing thing that's something that that, that i had a problem with at the improv for a really long time i the first like two times I went up there, I was so nervous that I was like speeding through my jokes, and mm-hmm. I I only recently learned how to like slow down. Because you, you slowed you, down last night. Yeah, I told you this. Your pace last night was the best I've ever seen it. Last night, you I've, were, got, I've you, gotten very comfortable with a slower kind of pace of yeah, jokes. You were slowed down, almost at like an idle, and I never I've never seen you at, at that that slow before, and it was yeah. good. And I think that you should. Take note of that set specifically. Yeah, and that's your that should be your. I've I've mar- I've marked it with the the smoke through the mouth emoji. On oh good. My, on, <laughs> my, on my set, <laughs> the gorilla. Or yeah, something. yeah, and then the and the arm that goes like this. <laughs> and the yeah. one hundred. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, yeah, I've, I've I've footnoted that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you 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 were you were talking quick for a while. Yeah, and it was I think it was like I think it was a nerves thing, because like uh like before the improv I'd never really been on a stage that was like that large. Before mm-hmm. and even though it was an open mic, it's still like a you know it's like a it's a, it's a large crowd yeah, and is. so and you're also going up in front of your peers that are like above you mm-hmm. yeah, uh, yeah people that yeah people that have been doing it a lot longer than me and so it's like you want to impress them you want to impress Gina you want to impress like even Rita. strangers that uh, Rita yeah Rita and, and strangers that are in the crowd and uh, and a lot of that got to me but I've, I've I've gotten a lot more comfortable going up there and just going like these are my thoughts yeah in a in a slow and this is how I'm going to present them. And you guys just take that. If it's funny, laugh. If it's not, whatever. The number one comment I always got from, like, more established comics and, like, pro comics and, like, bookers for the first three years that I was doing comedy was they're like, 
you're doing great, but you have to stop talking over the laughs. Yeah. And like, that was a big issue for me. Cause now I yeah. know to like, just stop mm -hmm. when they're laughing and wait till they're done. But I would get and like annoyed cause I'm like, I only have three minutes, five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And I have all these bits I want to do. So I would just be, I would get the pop and then before it ended, I would just keep going. Yeah. And then yeah, yeah. I, I, I so many people are like, you have to stop doing that. Yeah, you say, say what you want to say, and then just shut up. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you can't step on like your own laughs. I, I learned that recently doing the uh, the moon landing joke because mm -hmm. I would like I, I, I had this like punchline that, that that I thought was a setup to the real punchline, and it would get all these laughs, but then I'd go right into something else that just like put a wet blanket over it and it was like just enjoy the laughs just sit there and that was the thing i struggled with too is like not realizing that they don't know, like i have my jokes structured in a way in my mind yeah but like not realizing that the audience doesn't know that mm -hmm. yeah so they're gonna laugh longer at parts that i didn't that for me aren't what the joke is mm -hmm. yeah another thing i learned is that like you can get a lot of laughs just by saying something stopping waiting for them to laugh and then going again yeah yeah, I noticed slow down and less is more unless you're doing an act out, then full throttle it. Yeah. You never less is more in an act out. If you're going to do an act out. So I never do act out. No, don't, <laughs> don't half ass an act out. Yeah, you can't. I, I think as far as talking goes, slow down, slowing down, obviously. I, I don't know. I just think less is more. Unless it's an act out, then then you gotta fucking really full throttle it. You can't, yeah, you cannot half-ass an act out. 